My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. In this kingdom, and that is kingdom entertainment. I was amazed when I decided to find the meaning of entertainment in the Webster Dictionary. Then I, I got shocked to my bones that entertainment is defined from two words. The first word is amusement, happiness, pleasure, entertainment. And the second thing is diversion, diversion from a main focus through amusement. So in short, entertainment really means that the power to divert people's attention from the main focus through amusement, through pleasure, through excitement. So anything the entertainment industry stands for has one agenda, the ability to divert your attention from the main focus or from something and sometimes they tell us that they are diverting our attention from um, um, our sorrows and our troubles and our that but it has a deeper meaning to it that is the essence of entertainment whether football whether basketball whether music whether movies whatever it is the world defines this as something to divert people's attention and to eat their time without them knowing that they have serious issues to handle and sometimes people can watch football for 90 minutes and within the 90 minutes he forgets that he has a family to care of he forgets that he has a struggling business to strategize he forgets that he's a student and must be reading for exams and entertainment says that purpose that for a while let's divert your attention from the main focus and then the spirit of the lord began to tell me that the reason why Churches have successfully kept people for five years, for six years. And those people are seeing no transformation in their spiritual growth and their spiritual understanding with God is that we have adapted the concept of the world called entertainment. We know how to brand the church, fix lightnings, fix sound. Do certain things to a point that you come to church and you are too excited that you miss the focus that the teacher, the pastor, the prophet should lead you to a perfect man even unto the measure of the fullness of Christ. And for five years you have been in a church but you don't even know God. But the church has managed to get you to church all the time. And yet you don't even know God. You are still a baby in Christ and you can't even see because some way somehow we found a way to entertain you we found a way to massage your pleasure and the things you like so we know the rhythm to play to make you happy that you forget we are not growing you we have a way for letting you believe that life is all about possessions life is all about what you have life is all about the job so you get a testimony of a job and you think that is church but in reality you are not growing to the measure of the fullness of Christ you don't know your Lord you don't have any fellowship with the Spirit and you don't mind because we have diverted your attention and we have adapted such a worldly concept into the church and we don't even know who our God is listen to me God does not have a sense of humor God may sound funny but he's not funny Look through Genesis to Revelation. There was no day God decided to entertain people. God is purposeful. Even when he sounds funny, he's still not funny. He speaks to Sarah. And Sarah begins to laugh inside. Then God asked Sarah, why are you laughing? Sarah said, I didn't laugh. He said that, is there anything too hard for me? I'm sounding funny, but Sarah don't laugh. I mean business. I mean business. 
I don't joke. In Exodus 20 verse 7, he says that, do not take the name of the Lord in vain. For he that taketh the name of the Lord in vain shall not be guiltless. In other words, even my name, be cautious in mentioning my name. Listen to me. It's too dangerous that we don't even understand the God we serve. Look through the life of Jesus in the Gospels. The man was not funny. Everything he did was about, to a point he told them, I am a physician. I have come to heal those who are not well. I mean business. What happened to the church? That we joke about everything. We play about everything. In our quest to appear excellent. In our quest to appear perfect. In our quest to be a church that the world likes. We engage all kinds of people. Who don't even understand the depth of who God is. Fair ladies standing outside to usher people inside. And they have no business to be doing the work of God in the church because they don't even know God. These are ladies who leave church and go to sleep with men who have not even engaged them. And yet, because we need a presentation that the world will like, we engage such people. There are others who are, should have no business ushering in church because of the life they live. They have business sitting down to study the word until the word transforms them but not to lead the flock of God. But we have adapted this system. Anything we have to do to make people follow us, we have to. Whether God loves it or not, whether it grieves God or not, we have to. And it has brought us very far from the very glory of God. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section.